So hey folks and welcome back to another bike review. Today we're on the Triumph Bobber Gold Line edition. Very special bike, limited just to this year. Um, we're just out on its uh, first ride and initial thoughts. So we're just up in the lakes in the uh, little old village of Cartmel. Stick around, stay tuned and uh, we'll be right back. As I mentioned, today we're out on the 2022 Triumph Bobber Gold Line Edition. Which sounds absolutely mega, especially on the overrun. So we've had this bike for about a week now, taking it out when we can. With the bike being carnival red and having the, uh, the gold line pinstripe paintwork, I think if you're interested in buying a uh, Triumph Bobber and you wanted a different paint scheme, then the uh, gold line edition is worth looking at. It's a real, real head turner. Now we've been this morning up the M6 on this bike. And while it is a naked bike with no wind protection, the clean air is, uh, is very nice. Not too much buffeting at all or anything like that. And I'm happy to say that this bike has the parallel twin, the 1200cc high torque engine. And also the bike comes with cruise control, so it was quite, uh, quite easy. One touch button, just to activate cruise control on the way up to the lakes today. Now we're on quite a twisty, bumpy road currently, just heading over the tops down into Back Barrow, where we're going to head towards the Ambio Cafe, just next to the Lakeland Motor Museum. And uh, I have to say the suspension's pretty good. It's non-adjustable on the front, and you've got preload adjustable uh, monoshock under the seat at the rear. Um, but it's pretty plush, soaks up the bumps pretty well, especially on this bumpy road. Um, the seating position is very comfy. The seat height is 690 to 700 millimeters, so perfect for the uh, the shorter rider. And uh, my knees and my legs and the positioning are very very comfortable. The seat unit sculpts around your backside, so that's uh, that's all nice. Really comfy there. And uh, I just love how the, the single clock, very simplistic on the dash at the front. You've got nice switch gear, very tactile. Uh, like I say, you've got cruise control on this thing. Two rider modes, rain and road. And the torque from this engine, doesn't matter what gear you're in. You can just roll on the throttle and it just pulls. Brakes are from Brembo on the front, just a two pot with a Nissan single pot on the rear. And uh, yeah, they really, really stop. It does have ABS, but it's not intrusive, especially not on the dry roads today. So the weather's beautiful today, uh, a little bit cool, it's about eight degrees, but at least it's not raining. So what we'll do now, we'll, uh, we'll give you a look at the specs and a look round of this uh, beautiful machine. And uh, don't forget to tell me what you think. Drop a comment below, and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then uh, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give me a like, guys, it really helps the channel, helps us to grow. So, price on this bike is $12,995, and that's for the Gold Line Edition. Uh, you can buy the standard bobber for 12195 and uh, basically you pay an £800 difference for the Gold Line Edition and with that basically you're getting a, uh, a hand painted Gold Line paint job and uh, I think it's a good way of getting a different paint scheme and uh, something a little bit special. These bikes are actually only going to be sold in 2022 so if you want one of these in the, any of the Gold Line Editions whether it be the Bonneville the Street Scrambler or the, uh, the Bobber, then uh, head down to your local Triumph dealers and uh, check those out. 
you've got this beautiful brushed aluminium section on the tank here with the uh, the gold line and then on the uh, the top of the tank again the black and gold stripe the rear fender is color coded to the carnival red 2 okay so the engine on this bike you've got the 1200 cc high torque motor uh, it's 1200 cc parallel twin uh, it's a 270 degree liquid cooled motor that produces 76.9 brake horsepower and you get that at 6100 rpm uh, torque on this motor is 106 newton meters and you get that at 4000 rpm uh, it has a six speed gearbox the bike comes on spoked wheels and those are 16 inch front and rear wheels it's chain driven uh, forks on the bike you've got Showa 47 millimeter forks with the gaiters on just there and then you've got a monoshock tucked under the rear seat just there in the center so the seat on the bike is a single seat unit very very comfortable and that rear monoshock works really well um, the fit and finish of this bike by the way is absolutely tremendous you've got all LED headlights and tail lights and indicators actually on this one uh, you've got a daylight running light as well the discs on the bike you've got a 320 mil disc and this is on Brembo uh, twin pot calipers which uh, give it a really good stopping power uh, it also has I see the uh, braided stainless steel lines as well and then on the rear of the bike you have a 255 millimeter disc and that's on a Nissan single piston caliper so seat height is 690 to 700 millimeters so there must be some kind of adjustability in it and the tank is a 12 litre tank giving 60.9 uh, miles per gallon or 4.6 litres per 100 kilometres the wet weight of the bike is 251 kilograms and you've got a service interval on that engine of 10,000 miles you have also ride by wire throttle and the throttle connection is absolutely superb through town or just in the country lanes you've got uh, adjustable brake lever and adjustable clutch lever which is great and they're in black to match the uh, the black paintwork on the bike the tires are Avon Cobras okay so the clocks on this bike you've got a single dial just a speedometer you've got the rev counter fuel gauge gear indicator everything like that in a little LCD display just there uh, on this lever you've got the uh, the mode buttons you can switch between road and also rain so just plain and simple two riding modes and then on this side you've got single touch cruise control you've got information to switch through your information on the dash your horn your indicators uh, plain and simple uh, headlights up and down dips the mirrors work really well and then you've got a lockable fuel cap it just twists off as well now competition we mentioned that the goal line was 12995 and the standard was 12195 so what does it compete against well if you're looking for a bobber probably the Indian Scout would be the top one and that's priced at 12995 so it's the uh, the same price for the, uh, the Indian Scout as the goal line or if you have the standard version uh, you'd be paying uh, 800 pound cheaper for the Triumph over the Indian Scout. The other one is the Harley Sportster, which is 14,295. So 2,100 pounds more than the standard bobber, or 1,300 pounds more than this goal line just here. So uh, yeah, two competitors, Indian Scout, I think, and the Harley Sportster. So what I do like about these bikes is there's lots of custom parts, aftermarket parts, also great companies like Thornton 100, that actually uh, modify and customize these for their customers um, but I think the gold line edition uh, doesn't need any customization I think it looks uh, pretty pretty smart as it is we will be doing a last ride and final thoughts video a second video uh, a short one just to uh, to give you our final thoughts and honest review of this bike but uh, yeah loving it so far so uh, let's hit the road okay so I hope you like the look of the bike like I say it's really comfortable 
Uh, something a little bit special. The build quality on Triumphs over the last few years is tremendous. Absolutely beautiful. Great workmanship and uh, they really turn out some nice bikes. The Gold Line Edition on the Bobber. They also do a Gold Line Edition on the T100, the T120 and also the Street Scrambler and then you've got the, the Triumph Rocket, the uh, 221 editions, the R and the GT with a special paint job as well so uh, if you're looking for something a little bit special then these are definitely the bikes to, uh, to go and have a look at at your local dealer. Now while Triumph's lent me this bike for a couple of weeks so thank you Triumph for that I obviously try and give you a, uh, a good honest review of these bikes and we normally do a first ride spec look and uh, first thoughts, initial thoughts of the bike which is today's video and also we'll be doing a second video in about 10 days time when it will come out on our last ride uh, short video, final thoughts on having this bike for two weeks and living with this bike and tell you all about it one thing I am noticing when I last followed a bobber up the road following Toad, one of the bike journalists and uh, he was scraping the pegs going around the corners uh, on that day and coming up the mountain there, fairly twisty road, fairly fast, but I've not noticed the pegs touch down once. So I don't know if Triumph have actually raised the foot pegs at all on this. Uh, it doesn't feel any different, or it's me just not trying hard enough. <laughs> so we're just down on the A590, just at the bottom of uh, Highbrow Edge, where we've come over from Cartmel to Backbarrow, which is just the uh, village, the opposite side of the, uh, the road just here. What we're going to do is just turn a right here and then a left down into Lakeland Village and then we'll head to Cafe Ambio just to uh, finish off the video. The twin pipes on this bike from that parallel twin 1200 engine just sound beautiful absolutely beautiful the clutch with it being a, uh, a slip assist clutch is really really light really easy to use no need for a quick shifter on this bike at all so we're just here at the Lakeland Motorcycle Museum they have a really nice cafe and I'm just going to park up and uh, just tell you my initial thoughts on this motorcycle. Okay, so the Triumph Bobber. How have I got on on my uh, first ride? Well. Over the, uh, the last year, we've ridden probably about 16 Triumphs, new Triumphs, and pretty much all of them these days are really well built, and uh, just the, the attention to detail is, is superb. Uh, so would I recommend going out and buying a Triumph? Absolutely yes. Do I want one or all of them in my garage? Absolutely yes. Uh, kind of a Triumph fan, but it's an honest review that we give. And today's ride is no different. Um, so we've come out and uh, the bike rides absolutely beautiful. Uh, yes, it's a single seat, so it's not great for two up riding, but it's a modern day classic. It's timeless. It's got great suspension, even though it's not adjustable on the front forks. And the monoshock is just preload adjustable. The engine is great. The throttle is really smooth with it being ride by wire throttle. The slip and assist clutch is, is really good, um, really smooth and uh, you don't need a lot of effort to pull a clutch lever in to change gear. The engine has bags of torque, more than you'll ever need and uh, it's a six speed gearbox and also you've got that cruise control which is a single press cruise control which is great for motorways and long dual carriageway work. I think if you were looking at the reasoning of £800 uh, from the standard version just to get a gold line hand-painted tank and uh, different color scheme, I think is worth it. I think if you look at other manufacturers, uh, some of the other ones that have done just a, a different paint scheme or call it a special, then I think um, 
on the Triumphs to pay six to eight hundred pounds, I think it is. I think why not? A lot of motorcycle manufacturers have been uh, called out for bringing boring colours to the market, um, but here's a way you can get an absolute great colour of a bike and uh, you know a limited edition. These will only be sold in 2022, but yeah, she's a looker and she really rides well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to finish up at uh, the Cafe Ambio. I'm going to finish my coffee and cake and then we're going to head off uh, up into the lakes and just spend some more time on this bike. And then when this bike goes back next week, we'll be swapping this out for the Speedmaster Gold Line Edition. So stay tuned for that as well. That'll be coming up following a couple of other bikes that we've got uh, ready and uh, lined up to review. And those are from another manufacturer. So uh, thanks for tuning in. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ding that bell, and uh, appreciate if you can give it a like, guys. All helps the channel. Take care. Catch you soon. Cheers.